Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Yonks. Today, I'll be showing you guys the Dragon's Breath. This is an exotic rocket launcher, and we are just going to jump right into this thing. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and compare this rocket launcher with another one. I'm going to just tell you right off the bat that these stats are pretty damn bad. It does not have a great rate of fire. It only has one in the mag. Blast radius is no good, velocity is terrible, stability is whatever, and reload is not the greatest. Alright, all Dragon's Breaths will be solar damage, obviously, and my attack is 303. Okay, now we have the Napalm. This is the main perk on the Dragon's Breath. Release trigger after weapon fire to drop a solar damage Napalm canister. I will show you in the gameplay what this looks like, guys. Now we have Smart Drift Control for our sights here, Linear Compensator and confined launch. I'm gonna go with linear compensator because that will give me a little bit extra velocity. So I'm gonna go with that. Now we have surplus here. Expect to find more ammo for this weapon. Great, great perk to have right there on a rocket launcher. Now we have our middle perks. Quick draw, this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast, okay. Javelin, increase warhead velocity and speed reload. Reload this weapon quickly, all right. So I'm gonna go with Javelin for that even more velocity. So the velocity went from that to that a little bit of a difference there not the greatest but it definitely helps a little bit who's next a kill with the final round in the mag increases reload speed now every single shot from this dragon's breath will be a final round so i guess that's an okay perk still not the greatest anyway let's take a look at the aesthetics now all right this thing looks totally badass it's supposed to reference like the world war ii fighter jets or planes or whatever back in the day i don't know guys but i know it's something to do with that anyway let's get right into the gameplay so the very first thing i did with the dragon's breath was take it to the ultra knight here in the dreadnought to see how fast i could possibly put him down and it took me 12 seconds using three rockets each explosion dealing about 4,000 damage and each tick from the burn dealing 539 damage and by the way guys i was using the speed reload perk in the middle tree to get my reload just a little bit faster so i can get those rockets out a little bit quicker to put him down anyway we're moving right along to pvp and guys we do have full control of when we want to release our napalm canister you simply press and hold the trigger when you're firing your dragon's breath and you simply release the trigger whenever you want the canister to drop from the rocket and if you guys were wondering the napalm fire burn does last about seven seconds on the ground damaging all enemies in its fairly large radius dealing 25 damage per tick not too bad guys and for the explosion itself from the actual rocket it is not the greatest it doesn't act as a normal rocket would this thing deals very little damage it still will do a chunk of damage but you have to be very very direct in my experiences i have not killed somebody with the rocket itself but if you are very direct with it and release the napalm in the exact spot that you hit your enemy they're basically gonna be dead that napalm will definitely finish them off if the rocket doesn't I would definitely have to say the Dragon's Breath is made for large groups of enemies and for zone controlling. Other than that, I don't see this rocket launcher being efficient whatsoever. So, that being said, the true question here, is the year 2 Dragon's Breath better than the year 1 Dragon's Breath? Now, the year 1 Dragon's Breath had a high blast radius, a tripod perk allowing 3 in the mag, and the solar grenade instead of the napalm strike also the year one dragon's breath rockets actually hit like a real rocket launcher dealing a ton of damage to all nearby enemies because of that high blast radius however the solar flare was pretty much useless in year one so Back to the question, is year two Dragon's Breath better than year one's Dragon's Breath? Now, I am not going to answer that exact question because I cannot tell you which one is better, but I can tell you Dragon's Breath in year two is a lot more fun, at least for me. And I think they did do a good job on year two Dragon's Breath. The Napalm is actually way more useful than the Solar Flare was, and it's certainly way more unique. So guys leave in the comments and let me know what you think about the dragon's breath would you prefer year two dragon's breath or year one dragon's breath let me know also do you think it is worth the exotic slot and do you think this is better off in pve or pvp i must say i would think this is for pve for ad clearing 
but really any rocket launcher can do the job and because of that I do not think it is worth the exotic slot but if you are gonna just go ahead mess around and experiment with new weapons the dragon's breath is certainly one to mess around with overall I still had a lot of fun with this rocket launcher and it is very satisfying watching your enemies burn I must say anyway that's really it for this video thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and suffer the support I'd highly appreciate it